Beta Proteobacteria, Wikipedia article audio. Burkholder eels, Nice cereals, Nitrosomonatales, Rhodocycles. Beta Proteobacteria are a class of gram negative bacteria, and one of the eight classes of the phylum Proteobacteria. Phylogeny Role in disease the beta proteobacteria are a class comprising over 75 genera and 400 species of bacteria. Together, the beta proteobacteria represent a broad variety of metabolic strategies and occupy diverse environments from obligate pathogens living within host organisms to oligotrophic groundwater ecosystems. Whilst most members of the beta proteobacteria are heterotrophic, Deriving both their carbon and electrons from organocarbon sources, some are photoheterotrophic, deriving energy from light and carbon from organocarbon sources. Other genera are autotrophic, deriving their carbon from bicarbonate or carbon dioxide and their electrons from reduced inorganic ions such as nitrite, ammonium, thiosulfate, or sulfide. Many of these chemolithoautotrophic beta proteobacteria are economically important, with roles in maintaining soil pH and in elementary cycling. Other economically important members of the beta proteobacteria are able to use nitrate as their terminal electron acceptor and can be used industrially to remove nitrate from wastewater by denitrification. A number of beta proteobacteria are diazotrophs, meaning that they can fix molecular nitrogen from the air as their nitrogen source for growth, this is important to the farming industry as it is a primary means of ammonium levels in soils rising without the presence of leguminous plants. The beta proteobacteria are one of the eight classes that make up the proteobacteria. The beta proteobacteria are most closely related to the gamma proteobacteria, acidithiobacilia, and hydrogenophilalia, and together they make up a taxon which has previously been called chromatibacteria. Four orders of beta proteobacteria are currently recognized the Burkholder eels, the Nice cereals, the Nitrosomonatales, and the Rhodocycles. The name Procobacterials was also proposed for an order of endosymbionts of Acanthamoeba, but since they cannot be grown in culture and studies have been limited, the name has never been validly or effectively published, and thus is no more than a nickname without any standing in nomenclature. An extensive reclassification of families and orders of the class based on a polyphasic analysis was published in 2017, that removed the order Hydrogenophilies from the class and into a novel class of the proteobacteria, the Hydrogenophilalia. The same study also merged the former order Methylophilies into the Nitrosomonatales. The four orders of the beta proteobactera are subdivided into families. Burkholder eels comprises the families Burkholderiaceae, Alkaligenaceae, Commimonotaceae, Oxalobacteraceae, and Stutterellaceae. The order Burkholder eels comprises a range of morphologies, including rods, curved rods, cocci, spirilli, and multicellular tablets. Both heterotrophs and photoheterotrophs are found along with some facultative autotrophs. Nice cereals comprises the families Neisseriaceae and Chromobacteriaceae. The order Nice cereals comprises morphologies including cocci, curved rods, spirilli, rods, multicellular ribbons, and filaments. Most organisms are heterotrophs with some facultative methylotrophs and chemolitha heterotrophs. Nitrosomonatales comprises the families Nitrosomonataceae, Methylophilaceae, Thiobacillaceae, Sterilibacteriaceae, Spirillaceae, and Gallianellaceae. The order comprises morphologies including rods, spirilli, and curved rods. 
Most organisms are chemolithoautotrophs with some methylotrophs and heterotrophs. Rhodocyclates comprises the families Rhodocyclaceae, Azonexaceae, and Zoogloeaceae. Morphologies include rods, curved rods, rings, spirilli, and cocci. Most species in this order are heterotrophs with some photoheterotrophs and chemolithoautotrophs. Some members of the beta proteobacteria can cause disease in various eukaryotic organisms, including in humans, such as members of the genus Neisseria, and gonorrhoeae and N. meningitides being primary examples, which cause gonorrhea and meningitis respectively, as well as Bordetella pertussis which causes whooping cough. Other members of the class can infect plants such as Burkholderia sapatia which causes bull broad and onions as well as Xylophilus ampelinus which causes necrosis of grapevines. Various human activities, such as fertilizer production and chemical plant usage, release significant amounts of ammonium ions into rivers and oceans. Ammonium buildup in aquatic environments is potentially dangerous because high ammonium content can lead to eutrophication. Biological wastewater treatment systems, as well as other biological ammonium removing methods, depend on the metabolism of various bacteria, including members of the nitrosomonatales of the beta proteobacteria that undergo nitrification and a wide range of organisms capable of denitrification to remove excessive ammonia from wastewater by first oxidation into nitrate and then nitrite and then reduction into molecular nitrogen gas, which leaves the ecosystem and is carried into the atmosphere. Economic Importance